questions or, or maybe we were saying maybe there's something about the humor that is uh, makes sense in China. Yeah. And to us is, is unusual, like right. strange overreactions that are humorous that to us seem... So one of the thing, comps that I was thinking about was when I watched Anchorman the first time, or a okay. lot of Will Ferrell movies, social context, being from Spain, I had none right. for a lot of the jokes that he was, um, you know, making, That's and I true. didn't get it the first few times. And then after living here for a few years, then mm -hmm. I started to understand. I was like, a oh, Anchorman okay. of all the movies. Uh, or Talladega Nights, or, right. you know, Some they just... things are very specifically American information. That's yeah. true. Although, with Anchorman, that one took everyone a second watch. You think so? For sure. It, it, it becomes one of those like more cult classic type movies. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people the first time around were like, what the bleep is going on here? <laughs> oh, we, we cuss on this podcast. Yeah, what I know. It's fuck? so weird. We'll get there. <laughs> she'll, she'll get comfortable enough. She doesn't refrain from doing so in real life. So. <laughs> and my mother says, why did I send you to Catholic school? I know. I know. We're both, I guess, you know, we, mm -hmm. we try to portray... Um, ourselves as incredibly professional, ladylike, lady -like. you know, businesswomen, and uh, mm -hmm. curse like sailors. Deep, you know, I mean, we just can't it, help it. That um, if you swear, it's uh, it signifies being kind of more honest. I suppose because you're. I'll take it. Like more off the cuff. If you're okay with swearing, then you're more unstudied and and less. Um, mm. I'll go with that in your speech, and therefore more likely to be honest. I I was actually wondering hmm. if in The Mermaid. Um, they, it's in Mandarin, so obviously we have no context to translate, right. um, we're but we're on the subtitles, on the subtitles. Yeah. and some of the subtitles uh, were not translated to, oh, see, oh. Yeah, we're not, um, we're not hundred percent sure about the accuracy of the subtitles, we can't. Yeah, so, think with open when, ooh. sorry guys. <laughs> no, ooh. it's okay, <laughs> we got this. We will make it happen. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, some of the subtitles were a little bit hit or miss right. when, with English. So we can only assume that it's because there are a lot of terms that were not easily translated. Um, I really wish we had the context of uh, somebody who spoke Mandarin to be yeah. able to kind of describe how accurate those subtitles were in this case. There are also some really weird audio moments, right? Where even the Mandarin mm -hmm. wasn't lining up with As the, if the ADR yeah. Yeah, had gone weird or there was a lag. Right. And I went... Is that intentional? I mean, it's a huge movie with a big budget. It's not like they'd do an ADR mess up and be okay with it. Um, no, I'm assuming that they would absolutely just try to... I, I think it's change in dialogue, most likely. Sometimes like you too, do it and you try I to match it up and it doesn't work. Kind of like the, like, you know, older martial arts films. Mm -hmm. They tend to, like, the kind of bad dubbing. And I mm -hmm. wonder if it's a play on that. Because they were like also intentional. using, yeah, and they were also using the sort of music that you hear in those old school martial arts films. I'm yeah. not going to sing. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> in terms of singing the songs. But um, for those of you that have watched any martial arts films, you'll know what I'm talking about from Jump. Mm -hmm. So um, if you haven't and you have a chance, watch the trailer even. The trailer for The Mermaid mm -hmm. sets a tone it still will give nothing away. You will still be able to predict nothing. It's it's not the way some trailers are here where you actually get plot or you get the full movie at this point. Yeah, no. um, it's not like that at all. It'll make you visually engage and see what it's going to look like. But um, it also kind of sets a bit of the tone. And if you have a chance to watch the trailer, do so. If you're willing to wing it and go straight in and be surprised, go ahead and watch it. Do you think there's anything that we could turn into a drinking game for this movie? 